We as colorists all know how powerful the Hanser Pro is when it comes to film emulation. But can we achieve the same film look without it, only using DaVinci Resolve's own tools? The short answer is yes. How? Well, let me show you. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I've been getting a ton of messages and comments recently from you asking about how to achieve that classic Kodak 2383 film look, along with halation and bloom effects, all without using the Dehancer Pro plugin. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how exactly you can get that look using only DaVinci Resolve's built-in tools. Let's do it. Here we have a clip that has already been balanced and received some basic grading, including the Dehancer nodes, where I apply Kodak 2383 film look, halation and bloom effects. First, let's delete these two Dehancer nodes. Now we want to apply the Kodak 2383 film look using DaVinci Resolve's own LUTs library. We can find these LUTs in the default LUTs folder of DaVinci Resolve under film look. So, it is as simple as clicking and dragging it to a node. However, when we apply these film emulation LUTs, we usually get a heavily contrasted and heavily saturated image. One of the quick solutions people tend to choose to fix this problem is to lower the key output, which kind of gives us a more pleasing look by lowering the opacity of the node. But the actual problem here is that we applied this LUT incorrectly. These film look LUTs are actually designed to work in the Cineon film log color space. So to correct that, let me first reset this node and bring in a separate CST tool that will convert our color space to Cineon film log. Because our previous output CST node is set to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4, our input color space here will be Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. 2.4 and then for the output color space here we will select Rec 709 and for output gamma we'll do Cineon Film Log. Now that we are in the correct color space we can add a serial node and apply our LUT. As you can see this gives us a much more pleasing image. But what if you still found this effect too strong and wanted to lower its strength? We can again uh, change the key output levels to lower the opacity of this node. But if we do that, we kind of reveal the color space transform happening in this previous node. Here is an easy fix to this problem. We first select these two nodes, right click and create a compound node. This way we have merged them into one node. Now we can go to the key output and adjust it without revealing the additional color space transform. Now that we've applied the Kodak 2383 film look, let's move on to the halation and bloom effects. But before we do, if you're enjoying this tutorial, please subscribe, like and drop a comment. It helps me keep creating content like this for you. Alright, let's get into the next steps. As for the halation effect, let's go to our effects library, find halation and apply it. You can tweak it using the dye layer reflections and secondary glow. Finally, let's apply our bloom effect. It is named glow in DaVinci Resolve. And here you can make adjustments using the shine threshold and global output. And there you have it, a complete guide to achieving the Kodak 2383 film look, halation, and bloom effects using only DaVinci Resolve's built-in tools. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment with any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe for more color grading tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and happy grading!